Okay, so um, here's the sump for my 180 gallon aquarium. Um, so it comes from up top there. So the first one, this one, uh, in the middle here, the smaller one, is the main siphon. And then this one here is the uh, secondary drain. And the black one is the emergency drain. And the fourth one here, the fourth gray one here, it is the only one that has uh, pump pressure going up. Okay. So the black one has absolutely nothing. Uh, the second one here is the main uh, siphon. So if you can see, there's like, you can definitely see there's, I don't know if you can see the water rushing down out of that, but in this chamber, the, the, uh, the current is pretty strong. So you can see this fish is, uh, but they're still fighting quite, quite easily. Okay, if you look at the plant, you can see the current going in there and the fish is just trying to fight that current. Somehow they swim from this side to this side with that little space, so, you know, but they seem to be fine. Uh, the second chamber is really designed to have, um, uh, it's kind of like my secondary aquarium or you know, treat it as my refugium. So I've got some plants growing here to hopefully it grows well and then I can put them in the main tank. Uh, I've got some tetras here just just for fun. Um, got uh, some Siamese algae eater. You see this guy over here. All right, they swim pretty fast. Um, so I think if they get bigger, I'm going to put them up in my main tank when the plant can uh, get up there. Uh, so provide some hiding spot for them. Upstairs, uh, you can, as you can see in the last video, uh, I've got some minnows in there. So, you know, so far my turtles can't get them because they're swimming too fast for my turtles. Uh, if one gets eaten, doesn't matter. They were, they're very cheap anyways. Um, so what it does. I've got one pane of glass here, this, and then another pane of glass, just a little bit shorter than this here. Okay, and then it flows into. Um, so first, I've got a filter here. Uh, it's a coarse media, so it stops the fish f from going into the filter media, and also just to block some of the bigger particles. Then it comes down here. Uh, got filter floss, polish up the water a bit, get rid of uh, some of the more of the dirt. It's gonna trickle down into uh, bio balls and then I've got a air pump pumping uh, air into this chamber and then it's gonna flow down, flow up. I've got a heater in this little chamber and I've got another secondary heater here uh, and then my pump will pump it back up. So in this chamber I'm gonna add probably maybe some uh, some carbon uh, you know you can do a lot of stuff in this chamber tons of stuff. Um, I've got extra features or stuff that I put in so I've, I've actually wired I've uh, did some plumbing here so this is this is hot water and that's a uh, cold water so when I want to do a oil ch uh, not an oil change a water change um, I can put in a bit of hot water so that uh, I can I can keep the temperature a bit more steady for the fish and uh, obviously the, the the cold water just comes down here now this here is uh, actually was from my last tank. So what I did 
here was uh, in my last tank I had a drip continuous drip system so it was always tri dripping water into ooh, my uh, light just turned off so the drip system would uh, constantly drip water into this chamber and then uh, first of all the, the it'll keep the water level um, steady and you know it's it's just a little bit faster than the evaporation rate so it will just slowly uh, help me do water change so my last tank it was almost I didn't do any water change or add water top off or anything for like six months it was completely self-maintained um, this one I haven't set up the drip system yet but why did I still put up here is because um, I I can it'll, it helps me do water change now how that works is that if I turn on the water into this chamber okay so I'm just gonna turn on the water here and then you can see that the water is gonna slowly get up to these holes it's gonna drain into um, into the, the the pipe and this overflow pipe is going to start draining out water you'll see in a in a bit so it, it can you it, it can help me do a very slow water change I'm doing it faster so you guys can see this better on the video and not have to having to wait so what I can do is really to uh, let that pipe trickle down water for maybe an hour or so and just walk away and I have, I'll have no fear of it overflowing because it, it will, if it goes past this point water is going to start coming down as you can see here so I've got water coming down here now and you can see that the water is starting to come down and this directly drain into a drain that I set up back there goes to the drain so it's completely automatic really Now you can hear the noise um, a little bit from the uh, from uh, the tube here, uh, but I don't really care if it's silent or not. Uh, there are ways to silence it, but I really didn't want to do that because I it's not going to bother me. It only has that noise when it's uh, doing water change. So you can hear the water draining out. I'm still continuously filling water. So at this rate, you can do a, you can do a, I don't know, 20% water change without even lifting any buckets of water at all. Uh, with I don't know, you can even walk away if you want, right? It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. But when you do this, I, I usually do it very slow. I do it um, kind of kind of like a very slow water change uh, so now I'm gonna turn off this this pipe here and by the time the water drops past these holes the water will stop fill filling uh, stop, stop filtering out and then there you go I'm done my water change Now this 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 obviously wasn't for this tank here. Uh, it was built for another tank, so you know the height doesn't 
exactly fit, but it still works. Okay, so you can see the water is just gonna finish draining into the tube. And uh, this is kind of like the same thing with the overflow idea. And then uh, the, the water should be, um, I, the water will stop draining out fairly soon. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I were to uh, do this sump again, what would I change? What I would change is that the first two baffles is gonna go shorter. Uh, why is because that'll give me a little bit more room in case of a pump failure. The water from up top is gonna drain a bit down here and it currently makes it really, really, really full. So it's, it's uh, a little bit uh, concerning to me that it's so full. Uh, but obviously, if I have this system running, uh, it's not um, it's not uh, it's not a problem because it will never it will just drain out a bunch of water from from the from the uh, aquarium. Okay, um, but it never hurts to have a bit more safety mag margin. Uh, so I would make these just a little bit shorter, maybe two inches shorter. Uh, everything just brings everything down a bit. But overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, all the fish seems to be very alive, very well. I've got a Chinese LG eater over here. And uh, the plant seems to be doing pretty well. I got these plants. Uh, the hornwort especially was only maybe the same height as the moneywort maybe like two three days ago and it's almost reaching the top of the tank so it grew probably about inch inch and a half a day in height so that's that's pretty crazy the other ones are um i guess they're still adjusting they don't look especially uh you know they, they don't look like they're growing too much but we'll see in uh in a month or so so that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave it in the comments. Um, and uh, I'll try to answer them. <laughs>